Hi, this is Ian Wang. You guys can call me Philip, the team leader of your fans. And today we're going to review the Yo Yo Recreation Dropner. Finally, the the one of the best Yo Yo's in the world in history is finally in my hand. Uh, thanks to my friend Danny for sending this. Also, thanks for him uh, to send me the EOS, the one I reviewed last time. Also, just top of the top of the top of the line um, by my Yo So. This is, you know, I'm really excited to review this. Uh, I actually owned a drop here back then, and uh, I didn't quite like it because there's like really a lot of different versions of drop here. They range from, you know, this version, the lighter ones, like around 63.5 grams to, uh, you know, the heavier ones with 66 grams. And I don't really quite vibe with the 66 gram, it's too giant to play with. But this version, uh, the one I'm ha holding right now, is 63.6 grams exactly. Uh, that's with the NSK bearing. So if you have a uh, not NSK plat bearing, normal one, uh, you drop 0.3 uh, grams off that. So 63.4 to 63.3 grams uh, with a center track bearing in it. So right now I have NSK installed because it came to the AIO. And yeah, um, this is by far my favorite version of drop here. And I can't wait. I mean, I can't can't wait to play and reveal it right now. So uh, first look at this yo-yo. So this is just the most standard V-shape you've ever seen. It's just V and then that's it and the rims. And uh, this is a big, big uh, center button here, just like the Edo last, because you need to counteract too much rim power because um, you will mess up your momentum. Your speed will be decreased uh, if you don't counteract the um, pure rim weight is going on and um yeah so there's a huge button here drop here logo very nice finish i don't quite like it's not really grindy but that's fine uh nice rose gold color the walls is very thin i would say by feeling it i'll say it's around 1.1 to 1.2 so it's not as thin as hummingbird or even the converge and um but it's definitely very very thin so the rims are it doesn't actually look that bit big but uh, it's very, very thick, so uh, some nice room weight is there. So yeah, so I will have a spec of the godly drop there, here. Okay, so uh, now let's do the test. So this is my friend, but he really takes care of his yo-yo. So this is a 10 out of 10 smooth, there's no vibe whatsoever, so very good here. Um, so now the speed. Speed of this yo-yo is definitely a <laughs> super fast. Like, I, w I would say either this or the Hummingbird are the fastest yo-yo I've ever played in my life. One of the two. Um, I don't know. Next video, I'm going to compare them to see which one's actually faster. But uh, I think for a mortal like me, <laughs> I can't even push this yo-yo to its limits. Um, but from what I feel, when it's close to its limit, I say this yo is one of the fastest yo yo's on earth or ever. So it's not like this yo is trying to let you, like, suggest you to go faster. The Eater Last had that little bit of a feeling, it's like, okay, you can go faster now. Or Hummingbird is like, let's go, let's go faster. And this yo is like, you know, the speed is there and you feel it. But once you start pushing, the harder you push, this faster uh, this yo-yo wants you to go. So if you push really hard, and this yo-yo is just, just, no matter how hard you push it, it just goes along with you. Super zippy, like, it's, it's ridiculous. So I really like this feeling uh, on the speed. Power, once again, one of the most powerful bimetal yo-yos out there. You can't really fault it, you know, just like the Edo S and the one the Hummingbird too. Um, insane power, you can, you really do super super long combos, you know, one minute, no problem, uh, one throw in on one minute, easily, and uh, mass and rim weight, you know, perfect weight distribution, I would say, and it's just a godly yo-yo, like I said, okay, stability, 10 out of 10, once again, no fault, uh, this yo is not very wide, 
but it still has a very nice catch zone and um you know stability it just want to stay in plane you know and uh the diameter is a little bit big too you know 57 slightly more than average and it's just awesome in stability no fault there 10 out of 10. flowiness there's slight hint of flowiness at slower pace not much just tiny bit uh, but once you start pushing it even into the medium pace there's nothing no flowiness whatsoever and that is fine because this yo yo is just pure speed power and stability you the player has a hundred percent control on the yo yo unlike some other uh, yo yos that is helping you guiding you to do this yo yo is like no, I'm not gonna guide you you're just gonna I'm just gonna do exactly what you want you want to go this fast I'll go this fast and I have infinite power and stability to cope with whatever you're gonna throw me at and I'm just gonna do it so that's what this yo-yo is floatiness absolutely nothing negative negative floatiness no floatiness whatsoever well actually if you combine this two this yo-yo is kind of like soulless so there's not not much flowiness or characteristic going on but just you know pure like you know a performance yo-yo period there's nothing else going on and some people will like it some people will hate it but for me i really appreciate it because i am a comp my tricks are kind of comp driven and then not really comp driven anymore but just speed driven and you know definitely stress out a little more and this definitely guides that um buying on this yo-yo is really good it's really tight one thing i do have a grab about this gap with is a little bit too uh, narrow for me and I'm using Kitty normal so um, it's sometimes really snagging for me if, especially if I have a fresh string on but um, the binds is the tightest bind ever but that's like like once I said not necessarily a too good of a thing because the snag so what I recommend is the Kitty slim Kitty normal maybe Kitty fat um, not too sure but I think once you start wearing down the strings it will uh, the snag will reduce. So kitty slim to maybe kitty fat or any other string thickness around there. So yeah, uh, that is my uh, uh, recommendation on the string thickness. Uh, the bind, the pads, you know, I think they have higher pads installed. It's one of the most grippiest pads ever. It's grippier than any pads I've ever known, I think. When you, um, you know, have a very nice contact and bind is just snaps back in the hand there's a lot of power so very good there horizontal on the studio is you know absolutely perfect uh there's no drama and there is some momentum guiding you because of the weight it's just no drama at all the yo is not suggesting you to do anything it's all up to the player it's got infinite power infinite speed it plays even fast in the horizontal plane just you know can't fault it you know it's super good um all right so other stuff I, I, like this finger grind is mad because of the finish uh thumb grind kind of hard to do because the lip is not that big but you can do them in the finish finger spin is below average because of the button and the engraving and the finish so that's that but who cares right so what i think about this video so i think you know, a lot of people say this is the greatest thing of all time, and then there is no replacement for it. Um, and I actually kind of agree, agree with that. I'm not like the greatest thing of all time because when I think every single player had their preferences, but this yo-yo is, I don't think this is the fastest yo-yo, like, or it's one of the fastest yo-yo, but it's just a combination of power, stability, and speed. Those three and control, by the way, those four elements on this yo yo, it's like 10, 10, 10, 10, like four tens across the board. And, you know, it's that combination of a feeling, um, I think is kind of unmatched because till this day, me using this drop here gives me the most confidence within my tricks. Like, this is not the widest yo yo, but during high stress situations, like, if somebody was telling me you have to land this trick or you're dying, I'll probably go with the drop here because it's just that easy to do and you will have full confidence, you're in full control of the yo-yo and the yo-yo will listen to you. Yes, it's one of the most solid yo-yo ever, but it's all in the performance and it definitely uh, one of the all-time greats. So yeah, um, 
<laughs> you know, after praising how much I like this, you know, the next time I'm going to compare the drop hair with, you know, one of our yo-yo friends own yo-yo, the hummingbird. So a lot of people are trying to compare these two and uh, I will have a very detailed review on which yo-yo exceed at what and which yo-yo stands out at what and then uh, which one you should get uh, depending on uh, the player you are and what do you like. So yeah, thanks again Danny for this opera, awesome opportunity to try uh, the drop here. And he actually gave me a B-weight one so it's very very awesome. Um, Alright, shout out to him again and uh, see you guys next time for the comparison.